Hey guys, I'm Teddyworks and in today's Procreate tutorial I'm gonna show you how to draw this beautiful koi fish step by step. Please download free resources in the video description and if you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. My canvas today has the size of 2000 by 2500 pixels and DPI is 300. Here's the color palette of 14 colors, but actually we will use only first 5 to draw the fish and other colors are for the background that we will paint with an oil brush. This brush is from the mini set of oil brushes that I shared on my Patreon together with this painting in Leonid A Frame of Style. You can get the set together with tens of other exclusive brush sets and watch my in-depth tutorials on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description to this video. And you can also find a lot of free stuff such as this fabric brush set that we will use today on my gum road. With that being said, Let's proceed to drawing the fish. So in the color palette, I will select color number 3, which is this bright red. In the brushes I will go to calligraphy and select mono line. Prior to drawing, I went to the brush settings and increased amount of streamline, stabilization and motion filtering. They all can be found in stabilization. This way we will get smooth lines. The brush size is set to minimum and I will start drawing the fish shape. Let's make it big enough so it will cover a big part of the canvas, since we won't have any other objects except bubbles. I will start from here and go down with the curve. Then draw another one on the opposite side. To fix the shape we can use liquify tool from adjustments. It is set to push. I will just make it a little bit wider here and push it from the left side. Now I like the shape, so let's draw the tail. Here comes the first curve and then I will draw another one on the right side. Let's make it shorter. Here in the center I will also make it uneven. Draw in multiple curves. And we also need to divide it into two parts. So now I'm drawing the second one. Let me make it more curvy. And once we have the shape we can fill it. We just need to drag the color inside. Now let's go to the layers and duplicate it. Let's toggle the first one that is on top and go to the other one that is underneath. I want to recolor it. So let's grab the first color from the palette and we can simply drag it because the shape is not complicated. Now let's bring back the first one which is red and clip it to the base. Now I'd like to show you a small trick. For that I'm going to use liquify tool again. But this time I will change the mode. Actually I will use a few of them. And let's start with pinch. Pressure and distortion are at maximum values. And there is no momentum. I will just increase the size to around 62% and put my pencil somewhere here in the center. Just for a few seconds. Now let's select twirl left or right, lower the size a little bit and add some curves on the edges. We can also try to push to adjust it. So I will push it here on the head. 
If you make the size even smaller, we can do it more detailed. I think now I like the shape. Maybe I will add it a bit on the tail. And after that, we can start shading. So I will go to this layer now and apply alpha lock to it to keep the texture inside. Let's start with a darker color. It will be number 5. Then I will go to the fabric set and pick a brush from here. I didn't use this set quite often, but actually all these brushes, or almost all of them, will work great for shading. I'd like to try wool. Let me set the size to 75% and darken the edges. With low pressure, I will draw on the edge this way. Also on the opposite side, to make it darker. Now let's add a lighter color, which is number 4. I'm not working too much on the tail now, because later we will erase it and add a different texture. So with the fourth color, I will lower the brush size let's say to 45% and make a stroke in the center to highlight it just a tiny bit I think now we can add even more texture but I'll do it on another layer so let's create it and then clip I will pick white color right from the background And also go to change the brush. I want to use textile. But if we try it as it is and make a stroke, I think the texture is too small. Let's increase it. We can do it easily if we go to grain and increase scale in grain behavior. I will set it to 41%. Now the size is at maximum, and let's try to make a stroke. We need to find the correct direction, because this brush has an angle. Let me rotate it. Ok, I think this one. I will just make a subtle stroke on the back. And now change the layers blending mode. I will set it to color dodge. And I think we can remove it from the dark part. I'm going to use the razor set to soft brush. So I will just keep it here on the head. We can actually rotate it after that. To match it with the angle even more. Ok, I think enough texture. Let's now work on the tail. For that I will go back to the layer with the red color and continue using the razor. But we need to change it into a fabric. Let's select wool, since it will be our main texture. We can set the size to maximum and start erasing the color, like this, gradually, and move down. Let's keep it a little bit, but then change the brush again, in the eraser. This time I will go to organic, and select twig, the size is set to 43%, and I will just make a few strokes, like this.
Let's go to the right side. And make them as arcs. Alright, let's add another color. And for that I will create a layer below. Switch into the color number 4 now. And to wool brush. I will just start making strokes like this. Then we can also erase it. And this is the result we will get. Before we start working on other parts, let's draw a big flipper here on the back. We can also do it on another layer that will be created on top. We can clip it, but then use selection. So let's click on this icon next to arrow and select freehand. We don't need to use color fill here. Just start the outlines. It'll go from the tail and down. Here we can make it more curvy with many small curves. And in the end it'll look like this. Now we need to close the outline. Just tap on the starting point. Once we have the selection, let's save it to use it later. So I will click on the heart and then on the plus icon. The selection will be saved. Now we can use the brush. So let's tap on it. And we have it selected. It is wool. I will start with the color number 3. Let's increase the size to maximum. And apply it here this way. Then I will go a little lighter and grab color number 4. Let's lower the size a little bit and highlight the top part of this flipper. After that I will lighten it even more with the color number 1. We can make the size even smaller and apply it on the edge. It'll go all the way from the tail. I think we can add dark color here again. That is number 5. So I will apply it on the right side. To bring back the shading. Let's deselect it now. I will fix this part. To match it. And after that I'd like to add the shadow under the flipper. If you remember we saved the selection. So let's bring it back. For that we need to go back to this tool. Click on the heart again. And select this selection. After that we need to invert it. To select the other part of the fish. We have this dark color. So let's tap on the brush. Let's make the size lower and start adding the shadow. Around the flipper. I'm making it narrow. Like this. But still it is visible. 
Once we did that, let's deselect and check. I will just erase it here to make smooth transition. And also I'd like to add another highlight here on the head. I think we have too many layers so far, so we can merge these, but keep the base separately. Now let's create a new layer above and select white color. In the brushes I will pick fur carpet. The size is set to 12% and we just need to make a stroke starting from the flipper and going down on the head with low pressure. Now we can also grab a razor and set it to the same brush but with a bigger size. This time I've set it to 51%. We can make a few strokes to erase it and blend it with the previous texture. After that we can change the blending mode of the layer. We can set it to add mode or overlay if you want to make it more yellow. But then we can duplicate it to make it more intense. I think now it is better. We can totally merge these two layers, or even with the previous one. Before adding the eyes and flippers, let's finish shading of the light part. So I will go to the base layer and create another one between these two. It will be clipped right away. After that I will grab second color from the palette and use wool brush for shading. Let me set the size to around 73% and start making strokes on the edges, like this. Ok, I think it got even more volume now and I like how it looks. Right now we can merge all these layers. And create one more for the eyes. I will continue using the same color, but we need to pick a drawing brush. It can be technical pen from Inkin. With a size set around 12%, I will draw a nice shape. Let's make it big enough and it'll go outside the head on the right side. I will also make it rounded on this side. Add more flat inside. Something like this. Let me make it a bit more rounded here. It may go even more inside. And then we can simply fill it. Now let's create one more layer above this one. And clip. I will select the first color which is very light. And draw another shape inside. Just as an arc. Let's connect it. And also fill. We can also adjust it. And then draw the pupil. I'm going to use black color, which we can pick right from the color disk, if you double tap here at the bottom. And I will draw another oval shape inside. I think it is better if we do it on another layer. Just draw it like this. More closer to the outer edge. Let's try to fill it now. And to add volume to the eye, we need to add light reflections with white color. 
So let's just draw a circle on the intersection between the pupil and the eye. Just a circle like this. And another tiny one here. We can also add a line on the light part, like this. Now let's merge all the layers for the eye and duplicate. We can grab one of the eyes, then flip it horizontal, rotate and move it to the side. Ok, let's deselect now. And the fish is done. We need to draw the flippers. Let's merge these layers. And create another one below. Let's first select color number 3, which will be our base color. And I think I will go back to monoline. The first two flippers will look more like wings. So let me rotate it. And I will start drawing from here, on the side. We can make it curvy and add more small curves at the bottom. Let's connect it here, on the invisible part. And draw a similar shape on the other side. I think I will lower the size a little bit. So let's also make it curvy first. A big line like this. And then small curves at the bottom. Also connecting. And we can fill this too. Now we need to add smaller flippers, that will be located a little below. Let me draw here, it will look like this, also connecting and fill in this part. Let's make the other one bigger. So I will start from here and we need to consider the angle. So it will go all the way, like this. We also need to connect it and then we can drag the color inside. Let's shade them quickly and I will be doing it similar to what we did on the tail. So we can duplicate the layer. Let's go to the one which is located below and alpha lock it. I did that in order to recolor the layer into the color number one. So we can now tap on the layer and click fill layer. It will change the color. Now let's go back to the layer with the red color and use the razor that will be set to wool brush. We can simply erase it like this on the tips with low pressure and keep more red color here in the corners. Let's lower the size, or oh, actually we can isolate these two big flippers from the small ones, using selection. So I will make the size big again, and erase it like this. This way we are not touching the small flippers, and it is very easy. After we did that, we can also continue erasing using another brush. It will be twig from organic. Since we are here, let's do it this way. Maybe we can lower the brush size even to 10% and also erase it here on top. 
to add sort of a highlight. Let's also do it here. Then I will increase the size and there is more. Following the shape of the flippers. After we did that, we can also add some orange color. Let's make sure we have wool brush. We can deselect now. And then create a layer above the light one. Then clip to keep the texture inside. I will just make stroke like this. When these are ready, let's work on the small flippers. So I will grab eraser that is set to twig and go to the layer number 2, which is the red one. Let's set the size to around 10% and also erase it like this. We can also now add orange color on the previous layer. Let's tap on the brush and just make strokes like this. Let me check it and I think it will be better if we remove yellow color on the edges. Keep it very light. Just as it was before. So I'm also erasing it. And the fish is almost ready. To make it look more organic, let's do this. First merge all the lace for the flippers, then create another one above it and clip. I just want to add shadows. And I will be using color number 5 for that. In the brushes we need to select wool. Let's lower the size to around 32% and start drawing like this. On all flippers. Let's paint here and also on the small one. Now it looks much better, I think. Let's just make it very soft. Ok. Now we only need to draw this moustache or whiskers, I don't know how it is called, on the fish. So I will select second color. We can create a layer above all layers. And select technical pen for example. Its size is set to 20% and I will just draw small lines on both sides of the fish. Pressing more on the inner edge. Now it is completely ready. Let's merge all the layers and start working on the background. So let me create a new layer and place it under the fish. First I will fill it with this dark color number 14. And before painting with oil brushes, let's draw a few bubbles. We need to do it on another layer, created above the background. And I'd like to show you a very easy way to draw a bubble. First let's go to the color disk and grab white color. I want to use monolight brush from calligraphy, but even if we set it to the minimum size, 
it will be still very thick. So I will go inside the brush and in properties set minimum size to none. Now we can set it to round 4% I think. And draw a big circle somewhere here. Let's wait a second to make it perfect. Tap on the canvas. And after that I will duplicate the circle. Let's go to this one located below and fill it with a color. Now I will recolor it into the sixth color. We can do it by dragging. After that I will go to selection and pick automatic. Make sure there is no color fill. So I will just tap on the circle and then on the feather. Let's slide to the right on the amount to increase it. We will see the blurry color going inside. And I think we can set it to around 13%. After that I will swipe three fingers down and cut it. This blurry part will be removed from the circle. You can play around with the amount to get different results. Let's now go to this layer with the outline and apply Gaussian Blur on it. At around 2%. Finally, I will grab white color again. We can try to create one more layer or continue working on this one. I will only change the brush to soft brush. Make it low size. In this case, it can be set to 2%. And I will start adding highlights, first pressing more and then go into the sides with low pressure. Let's draw another highlight on the opposite side. It can be even smaller. Let me make this one even bigger. And now if we look at it from the distance. I think it looks quite like bubble. We can merge all the layers for it now and duplicate it many times. I will be changing their size and location. But every time I will be duplicating the initial layer in order not to spoil the quality too much. Let's place one somewhere here. Then I will add more smaller bubbles. Let me make one even smaller. Somewhere here. Maybe a tiny one. Like this. They may go upper, even above the tail. You can actually place them however you want. I think this will be enough. So now I will merge all the layer for the bubbles. And if you like you can also duplicate this group and play around with more bubbles. I will stop here. We only need to paint the background. And for that I will create a layer under the bubbles. Let's first select a brush that will be oil paint too. I will be switching between the colors from 6 to 13. Maybe start with this one, number 7, and make strokes diagonally, 
they can be curvy or straight. We can also try to change the size. I will start with 24% and make strokes back and forth like this. Then I will switch to another color and continue. If you make strokes with low pressure between the colors, they will be blended. And it feels very natural. Like you are painting with oil brushes. Some of the lines can be thinner. We can also add some lighter tones. Also the strokes can be short or long. Just paint however you want. Let me select this color number 9. I will make the size low. And paint here. Then I will continue with more blue tones. Also try to blend it. Let's try this color number 10. They actually look very similar. Let me add a lighter color here in the center. I will make it very big. Also try to blend it. So it'll look like water. This is color number 6 now. Also making big strokes here. And then I'd like to transition it into greens. Starting with color 12. Let me blend it. And then I will get color number 13, which will be darker. I will continue painting. Also make it curvy, try to blend it. This way. And then go up with blue tones. Maybe let's select this one, number 8. I will make a transition like this. And then go lighter. Change the size and make strokes like this. That will look more like arcs. Let me also blend it. And continue with other blue colors. There is no strict order. I'm just changing them randomly. Let me grab this one. Then another light blue. And finish it on the corner. I will make a few adjustments. Maybe soften it here.
add a bit of lighter color. And after that we can add the shadow under the fish. So let's duplicate it. Go to the layer which is located below and paint it into some dark color. For example this one number 14. The layer is already alpha locked, we only need to tap on it and click fill layer. It'll get dark blue. Now we need to unlock the layer to be able to apply Gaussian blur on it, otherwise it wouldn't work. Let's find it in adjustments and slide to the right until we can see the shadow. I will set the amount to 14%. We can also try to move it to the side. And then I will do this. I will go to the lay with the fish and select it. Now let's go to the dark layer and in this menu click clear. Now we will get the shadow only around the fish and under it it is gone. I did it so we could erase some of the parts. So now I'm on the lay with the fish. I'm selecting a razor and I've set it to soft brush. I've set the size to 14% and right now I will start erasing the tail to add some transparency to it. Now we can lower the size and do the same on the flippers. This one. Also this small one on the side. And the big ones too. Just to blend them with the water a little bit. We can actually do the same on the edges of the fish. So it'll look like it is in the water, inside it. Alright. Let me have a look at it. And maybe we can play around with the background colors. Let me go to the lay with the paint strokes. Then to adjustments and select Hue Saturation Brightness. I will play around with Hue and Brightness. I think I like this combination, with Hue set to 44% and Brightness to 53%. And at this point, our drawing is complete. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Tell me if you post a version on Instagram. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.